and we have a very special guest in here for y'all today, my man Neelan Greenwood, aka Officer Neelan, aka, AKA Sacramento Slim. Boys. Oh man, what's going on? Sac man? Town in the building, right? Living, just living life. Living I life. I can't complain at all, you know. Just living man so speaking of living no uh, <laughs> we ain't gonna get into it that quick <laughs> and so i'm like okay let me see what this what this high jump's talking about high jump go i'm doing i'm doing a form boom land on my neck i said, Ooh, I, said yeah, I can't no. do that i said i can't do that at all your neck long too yeah, that had to hurt the only one at the track meet's wearing a helmet it's not i'm not, it ain't gonna <laughs> I'm, work. not gonna it ain't that gonna guy, work. right <laughs> and so that student athlete clicked when i got to college but yeah. like i said back at ar uh, sac city I, I was still doing both sports, running, doing basketball, running track. I'm okay. like, okay, I'm about to make it in basketball. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I mean, I'm, I'm getting a lot of D2 offers, but then I'm, I'm doing a track. I'm winning state and track. I'm number one in the state. I'm, I'm beating everybody. Killing. So I'm like, Sound like it was dang easy it. it. It wasn't, though, still to the very end. Um, I had to, my, my sophomore year in, 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 college, in junior college, it, my, my track coach came to me. He was like, you know what? We need to either focus on one sport or the other. I was I was warming up for it. I was getting ready, getting basketball shape ready. At this time, my, my track scholarship was done, and so like I said, if I would have got hurt, then nobody nobody sent me back home. I'm already done. I'm already, there, yeah, too. young cats, and then a lot of people you get hurt out there real real easy now, oh, which, which which I did before oh, my, my my walk on my walk on tryout. So I was in the huff, went for a dunk. What do you normally do? I mean, I'm over here feeling good. Came down, pop. I'm like. I'm like, I'm, I'm always around it. I've been on a couple ride-alongs, and so I'm like, I can do this police thing, but I don't want to go that police route. Let me be a firefighter, right? And so I'm like, I so see. So you did that first? I tried to. I know one, one incident, I went in there, kid was real bad, too. I'm talking about, I'm cussing me out. Oh, yeah. And so I was more impressed on how bad he was than anything. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, golly, like, you you doing this even or not around your friends. Like, and you, I want to show him I'm the same person with that badge on. Oh, then without that without badge. Without the badge, right? Yeah. If you see me at Walmart out of uniform, I'm the same guy in Walmart and with the uniform on. Boy, thank goodness, because when I first met you and we was hooping and I didn't know you was an officer, and then I found out she was an officer. <laughs> my my whole thing, I didn't come in being a police officer wanting to take everybody to jail. Right. That first year, I mean, for practice, I mean, you want to get your feet wet. You want to be that gun ho officer. You want to go serve warrants. You want to go pull every call over. I grew out of that quick. I'm like, I'm not. What made you grow out of that? Just knowing that you're not making a difference. This is the number one question that I have when I see what's going on in the news and the brutality, the murders. What type of formal training are these guys getting? Mm -hmm. Or are you guys getting yeah. why they don't make better decisions or why they make certain decisions? Like, So let me just set this straight from there's no officer that I've talked to will say that last deal that we just had uh, with the guy on the neck. George Floyd. Was, was right. There's no officer saying that that guy did not kill George. Right. There's no officer that's, that's going to make that argument. If you want to make a, a change, a difference, it's not by looting. It's not by destroying your community at all. I, I hear. I mean, that's not the only thing going on, though. There it's, are it's not. peaceful oh, no. protesting. Oh, a lot of my, my argument is, okay, for those that are so ready to make a change, make a difference, what are you doing? Right. Have you ever been on a ride along with the police officer? Right. Have you ever actually go and do your research on what kind of training is happening? Because right. there could be a lot of lack of training. And if you bring it to light, then they have to go start doing training. And so, like I said, if you want to make a difference, instead of going around with bricks in your hand, go to the police department and go talk to somebody. I'm going to be the first to tell you, that's not going to happen. From friends, from people on Facebook, I'm praying for you. I'm, I'm so scared you walk out of, your, out of your house every day. It's a bad time we live in. I, I say, you, you, I, thank you for praying for me, but this is the best time for me to be a police officer. Facts. Best time, because this is the time where I can make the biggest impact. Major it, facts. This is the time where I can educate out there, right. not with my baton in my hand, not with dogs barking behind me, 
well, me saying, okay, how can how can I help? Like, right. When I walk into Target and, or Walmart or in a mall or something, their parents be like, oh, that police officer right there is going to arrest you. You better be good. Right. I'm, I'm quick to tell that kid, you know what? I'm not going to arrest you. Don't do that to because me. Because you're putting fear in that kid early. And right. so I, I get on the parent quick. I'm like, do not teach that kid that, especially being a minority kid or any kid. Do not teach that kid that right. because I'm not here to put to take you away. I'm not here to put you in handcuffs. I'll give him a sticker. What's your take on, you know, policing black community? You're a black cop. Yeah. You police a black community. It's. And I don't know where this ends. Um, know that rioting is not the answer, mm. but I know peaceful protests haven't worked. They've gotten exactly. tear gas. You work. know, and it's like, like, what's what? What's your message? You know, what's your message, man? Well, before <laughs> I let you go, you're also a realtor. I am. So I am. go go ahead and plug yourself in real quick.